Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. This is about different kinds of factorials. Which has the greatest value? 5 factorial, 5 double factorial, the sub factorial of 5, 5 primordial, or the super factorial of 5. You can pause the video and see if you can analyze these 5 different kinds of factorials. Now let's solve this problem together. There are so many different kinds of factorials and five of them are in this video. So let's begin with five factorial. We know that five factorial by definition is equal to five times four times three times two times one. Or you multiply the natural numbers from one up to n and this is equal to 120. So 5 factorial is 120 and the interpretation of this number is this 120 is the number of permutations of 5 distinct objects. So let's remember this value. The next one is this 5 double exclamation point which is the semi-factorial or double factorial. Some may think of 5 double factorial as bigger than 5 factorial but actually that is not correct. This 5 double factorial is the product of all positive integers up to n that have the same parity. When I say parity, the number here is an odd number. We are going to multiply all the odd numbers from 1 to 3 up to n. But if this 5 happens to be 6, which is an even number, then you are going to multiply 6 times 4 times 2. And this is equal to 15. So the semi-factorial or the double factorial of 5 is 15, and this has some applications in series in calculus. The next one is this exclamation point 5, which is the sub-factorial of 5. Now, what does this mean? The sub-factorial means the number of ways a group of objects can be arranged so that none of the objects is in its original or correct place. The other term for this is derangement. So the sub-factorial of 5 is computed this way. You start with 5 factorial and you multiply it by 1 minus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial until you arrive at 1 over this n factorial. Notice that the signs are alternating from negative to positive to negative to positive to negative. And the second factor here, when n is large, will approach some value that is familiar with us, which is 1 over e. And so, this subfactorial of n has this formula, the greatest integer function of n factorial over the natural number e. And computing for this, since n is only up to 5, we can compute this manually, and this gives us a value of 44. So, there are 44 derangement of 5 objects. When I say derangement, this is the number of ways that a group of objects can be arranged so that none of the objects is in its original or correct place when you start. We'll have more video about this derangement and subfactorial later on. Now, let's remember this result. The next one is the symbol 5 pound. What does this mean? This is primordial from the root word prime. So the primordial of a number is the product of all prime numbers that are not greater than n. So here, the prime numbers are 5, the next is 3, the next is 2. 4 is a composite number, and 1 is neither prime nor composite. So multiplying, this gives us 30 for 5 primordial. This has some applications in number theory. Next is this $5 sign, which is also known as the super factorial. What does this mean? There are different interpretations of super factorial depending on the author. For example, if the author is Sloan in company, the symbol for super factorial is SF then a number. But if you are going to use the picover super factorial, the notation is a number n followed by a dollar sign. And this is what we are going to use in this example. And this is equal to this n factorial raised to n factorial raised to n factorial until you have n factorial copies all in all. So going back to our problem, for five dollar, this is the titration of five factorial. When I say titration, five factorial is 120. So you have the titration of 120 that is expanded this way. Ready? You have 120 raised to 120 raised to 120 raised to 120 until you have 120 120s all in all. So you are going to have here 120 120s in the form of a tetration or power tower. And this number is 
of course, very, very large. And there's no need for us to compute to determine which among these has the highest value. Of course, 5 super factorial has the highest value. 5 factorial is 120, 5 double factorial is 15, the sub factorial of 5 is 44, 5 primorial is equal to 30, and the super factorial of 5 is this extremely large number. So our answer is the super factorial of 5 has the highest value among these five factorials. There are other factorials that we can encounter in our next videos. We hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.